Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Oops, sorry. Almost tripped over kettlebell. Anyway, life's good, guys. Life's good, even when you're tripping over kettlebells, man. I can't think of a better thing to trip over than a kettlebell. Because you trip over a trumpet, you might hurt the trumpet. Trip over a kettlebell, man, it's not going to hurt the kettlebell a bit. It might hurt you. Yeah, that's what you tuned in for, right? <laughs> hey, hey, when you're by yourself all day. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Guys, it's supposed to be fun. Oh, madam, it's supposed to be fun. I know I've talked about this before, but let me get to it. All right? Anyway, I have played quite a bit, so let's see what we do. Anyway, hellacious one-handed double C's, some barbed wire, some vegetable juice. Why do you think I'm so dang happy all the time? Because <laughs> it's fun. Guys, it's supposed to be fun. And I have to say, man, for the longest time, it wasn't. And many of, especially my comeback players, Guys, it's not fun. They don't look forward to playing it. They don't. They, they think, "Oh my God, if I can only get through that that first piece and get the high C, I'm, I'm guys." It's supposed to be fun. The reason I put pictures of Perico all over the place, I just get the impression this guy's having a blast. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that he works very, very hard, and there's a lot of pressure on a band leader, you know, writing arrangements and all this sort of stuff and the business end of it. I, there's a lot of pressure there. And, but it just seems like he and the band, now they're supposed to put out a good thing and maybe he should get an Oscar for, for portraying a happy guy. But it just looks like he and the band are having a blast. Those Raiders games, you know, <laughs> please, the NFL draft, just hanging out, playing some high G's and A's, man. <laughs> it seems like a blast. Anyway, it's supposed to be fun. It really and truly is. Now, for the longest time it wasn't. You know, Vakiano, God bless him. But I love the guy. I love the guy dearly. Loved him. Mel. I mean, you know what an effect he had in my life. But it was the old Italian school, man. You, you, had, you had to suffer for your art, man. And I'll never forget, we had this... Um, argument, debate, we'll call it a heated discussion about mouthpieces. Now he wanted bigger, you know, deeper, bigger, you know, trombone mouthpieces were not deep enough, man. It, it was incredible. And that he had Harry glance in his ear. Anyway, so he goes, Salamone, two guys are walking up a hill. One has a hundred pound bag, bag pack on his back. The other one has nothing. Who's going to be stronger when they get up to the up to the top? The metaphor, simile, doesn't matter, being the guy that's doing the most work is going to be stronger. 
And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll take his pack and I'll put another 100 pound pack on a dolly and I'll sprint up that hill 10 times in the time your guy has his back. And by the time he gets to the back, he's going to have to go to the chiropractor. Well, he didn't like that at all. He didn't like that at all. And I don't doubt him. You know, 18 year old snot kid saying that to the greatest trumpet player in the world. You know, <laughs> I deserve a slap in the face. But that <laughs> exemplifies what is going on here. And guys, it's supposed to be fun. And I have to say, when I was studying with Jerry, I loved it. I loved it. The whole chops, the science of chops, that was my thing, man. I absolutely loved it. But I can honestly say I never had as much fun as until that 1SB came out. Guys, it sounds like I, I'm pushing the 1SB lately, and I'm always going to push the 1SB. Guys, you are missing out on a lot. Well, I have this uh, Marchinkowitz, or I have this uh, Monet. It seems to work. I have good high ease. Guys, I'm telling you, man, you are missing out on an enormous amount of just plain fun. Now, here's the thing. From everything from Herb Smith in the Rochester Philharmonic to Perico, Screaming Double C's are the top band leader in Las Vegas. They're both playing the same mouthpiece. And everything in between, from Nick Drozdov to Ray Rosario to, to Jacob Tolar, I, I mean, young kids, high school kids, are killing it and not sweating the warm up. Now, didn't, don't think one minute they're going to miss that, that high note. It's just fun. Guys, and if you're not enjoying playing the trumpet, what the heck are you doing it for? What the heck are you doing it for? Now, I know there is stress and pressure that comes with performing, and I don't do that anymore. I did it for a long time, man. Don't act like I don't know what it's all about. But, think back to all those concerts you did. Think back to all those gigs you did that you were just worried with, worried about it for days, sleepless nights. Just think, guys, that you didn't think once about that. You just knew it was going to be there. Guys, it's supposed to be fun. All right? All right. Anyway, guys, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. Get yourself a 1SB. I'm going to the, um, going to the post office now to put a couple in the mail. Yeah. Seems like people are getting the message, man. The one has been, and trust me, I'm going to beat you over the head with it until, and I can't guarantee results unless you have the one has been. I will teach you using any other Callot mouthpiece. A lot of people don't have the money lying around. I get it. And those mouthpieces are the next best thing, but I can't guarantee that. That's another thing, guys. And I hope this doesn't put Perico in a bad light. But guys, he didn't practice. He practices a little bit. He's the first one to tell you, and that's why I have no problem saying this. Guys, he doesn't practice, and you hear what he sounds like. You hear what he sounds like. He's got so much other things going on, he just doesn't have time to da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. He doesn't have time for that. If he thinks he's getting away from it a little bit and he's got a gig coming up, yeah, he'll put some time in. But he doesn't, and I guess, I'm not making him out to be a slacker in any way, shape, or form. And he's going to watch this, and he's going to know what I'm talking about. But guys, he's the first one to tell you he is not killing himself with practice. Now, you heard the results again. If you could be guaranteed those results and not have to sweat the practice, is that like a, a, a 10,000 pound barbell or one of those Sax Vacchiano was talking. Is that, does that feel like it's taken off your, your, your back? Fun. Anyway, guys, we'll.